Hi, Prince and Princesses. I'm Auntie Kay, and this is our children's Sabbath school program. And guess what? You are welcome to come along with me. Hi. Hello. How are you, my Prince and Princesses all around the world? I'm Auntie Kay, and this is the children's Sabbath school program, where I'm happy that all of you are here with me. Today, we're on Lesson 12, and the topic for today is the night the angels sang. Yes, I'm excited to hear and learn about it on this very windy Sabbath. Oh my goodness, but you know, I'm going to enjoy this breeze on my skin as I spend this time with you. So let us go into our welcome. Hello and welcome to Andy Gay's Children's South School program where Prince and Princesses all around the world get to enjoy and learn about the love of God through sign language, messages with Princess Malloray, character teachers from Nails, Nature Nuggets, Sing Along Time, Mary Versus, Story Hill with Princess Da Vincia, Test Your Knowledge with Quiz Kids, Hashtag Puzzle Fun, Enjoy Object Lessons with Auntie Patty Pat, Bible Questions with Ask Pass Vanessa, Great Craft to Crafts and Good Yummy Goodness with the Girls Tasty Treats. So, no matter where you're living on this great big planet, you are welcome to participate, enjoy and share. Yes, we live far and wide, but God's love connects us, no matter how you look, where you're from, the color of your skin, or even your culture. Welcome! So now that we've been welcomed, Princess Malaray, she's ready with our message sign of the day. Let's close our eyes and clasp our hands. It's prayer time. Happy Sabbath from Zambia. My name is Priti Maseka. Let us pray. Our dear kind and loving Father, thank you for this wonderful day that you have blessed us with, Lord. Please Lord, bless all the little children in the world, Lord. Please Lord, protect us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Thank you so much for our message sign of the day and our opening prayer. Prince Niall is waiting to share with us his nature nuggets. Hi guys, this is the Caribbean Sea Honey. Like all God's creations, it is beautiful and it can also teach us so much. Number one, bull. The sea is not afraid to make a splash when facing new shores. In the same way, we should not be afraid to step out and face new challenges. Be bold. Be yourself. Number two, be purposeful. Even the smallest pebble on the ocean floor has a purpose in a greater picture. Let every action be one of intention and meaning. Live your life with a purpose. Number three, stay connected. All of God's creation is connected. We are all connected to Him and a part of His divine plan. As humans, we are also created to be connected to each other. Stay connected to those around you. Stay connected to God. Can you believe it? The Caribbean Sea is truly an amazing character teacher. I agree, Prince Niall. We must be purposeful. Purposeful in all that we do. If we say we're going to be good boys and girls, then we must be purposeful about it. If we say we're going to study, we're, we're purposeful in that we're going to share God's love, we must be purposeful indeed. Thank you so much, Niall, for sharing that with us. And now... After we pledge that we're going to be purposeful in all the other character traits that, that Prince Niall has shared with us, it's now time for us to give praises, thanksgiving, lifting up in songs to our Heavenly Father because it's now time for... It's sing a loud time. Hi, I am Alejandra Christie. I live in Jamaica. The special song is Joy to the World. As we sing this song, May the Lord bless you. Bye! Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room and heaven makes you sing. Just sing and hear. 
his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of his Drummer boy. <laughs> I like this one. and I come from the beautiful country of Zambia. Today the song is entitled Little Lord Jesus. Hope you enjoy it. Happy Sabbath!
thank you to my royal helpers for helping me with introducing our songs where we got to praise our Heavenly Father. So now it's time for us to hear our memory verse. <laughs> who's over on Story Hill. She's waiting to share with us our Sabbath school lesson, Lesson 12 Story, which is entitled, The Night the Angels Sang. Princess Davincia, thank you. Hi, boys and girls. It's story time. The Night the Angels Sang. Have you ever wanted something very, very much? You pray for it every day, you dream about it every night, then someone surprises you with what you wanted when you least expect it. Many, many years ago, some shepherds wanted something very much. They got their wish in a surprising way. The shepherds huddled in the fragrant grass. The sheep rested nearby, pale rounded shapes in the darkness. The moon was only a silver in the sky. The stars twinkled and glittered with the special sparkle they held on clear nights. The shepherds murmured in low voices. They were discussing their favorite topic. It was something they talked about almost every night, the coming of the Messiah. Yes, they were tired from the work of the day, but just thinking about and talking about and praying for the Messiah filled their hearts with longing. The shepherds sat quietly together in the deep silence of the night. An occasional bleat of a sheep broke the stillness. Suddenly, a bright star flared in the sky. It came rocketing toward them. As the light grew larger and brighter, the whole countryside glowed like noon time. The shepherds blinked, frozen with fright. Some jumped to their feet. Others protected their faces with their arms. Before them stood a dazzling person. Could it be an angel? Don't be afraid, a pleasant voice said. I bring you good news of great joy. The joy will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign that will Prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Immediately, the angel messenger was joined by a great choir of joyous angels. Angels filled the sky and they were all singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven, they sang, and on earth, peace to all on whom. God's favor rests. The shepherds watched the angels in wonder, hardly daring to believe they were real. The bright, happy music swelled and filled the night. Beautiful colors swirled through the sky and dazzled the shepherds' eyes. The angels' joy filled the shepherds' hearts until they felt as they would burst. Finally, the music drifted slowly away. The angels flew higher and higher, returning to heaven. 
The shepherd strained to hear the very last notes of the music as the light faded. Then it was quiet, heart pounding quiet. Did you hear that? One shepherd gasped. They were real, weren't they? asked another. I have never heard or seen anything like it. Let's go. Go where? To Bethlehem. The angel said the Messiah was born this very day. This very day. One joyous shepherd grabbed his staff and began racing down the hill toward town. All the others followed. That's how it is with God's free gift of grace. It gave the shepherds great joy. It still gives people joy. Jesus gives us joy. Longing for a savior, a hopeless world will wait. Sin demanded justice at a price we could not pay. But God displayed his mercy, the greatest gift of love. And we cannot reach heaven, heaven came to us. He made a way in a manger, a way to the sun. The sire, the promise, before time had begun. For God so loved this world, though he knew what love would cost. He ran away in a manger to make a way to the cross. Happy Sabbath! Do you see the smile? That's because I'm so happy that Princess Davincia does such a great job every week reading our story. Doesn't she do a great job? I agree. Thank you so much, my darling princess. Now, what did I learn? I learned a very simple lesson that Jesus gives us joy. And that's a message for the entire program. Indeed, that Jesus gives us joy. The shepherds had joy talking about the coming Messiah. And then to now have that joy of seeing the angels tell him that the Messiah arrived. Yes, Jesus gives us joy. The same way the shepherds had joy back then, we have joy in our hearts. Well, I have joy in my heart today thinking about Jesus, and I hope that you do too. So that's what I learned from our lesson. And now, because those great listening ears were on, it's now time for Quiz Kids. What was the shepherd's favorite topic of discussion? Was it A, the Messiah, B, the Commandments, or C, Creation? A, the Messiah. The shepherd suddenly saw A. Was it A, soldiers, B, a bright star, or C, a wolf? B, a bright star. The angels were A, singing, B, dancing, or C, watching. A, singing. The shepherds started for where? Where were they going? Was it A, Bethel, B, Babylon, or C, Bethlehem? A, Bethlehem. Lesson 12, the night the angels sang. Hashtag puzzle fun. Hashtag puzzle fun. Is up next. The night the angel sang puzzle. Directions: find the hidden words to spell out the theme of this week's lesson. Now, if I remember clearly, what Princess Marlorie said, she said Jesus gives us joy. So let's get started. I found Jesus. Now let's look for gives. Gives. Us, mm -hmm. and Jesus gives us, and there's the word, joy. Jesus gives us joy. Auntie Patty Pat. 
you know by now, everybody should know that I enjoy object lessons with Auntie Patty Pat. That's what's coming up right now. Hey boys and girls, Auntie Patty Pat here and you know it's the holiday season. And at the holiday season, everybody looks forward to gifts and presents and it makes them feel happy. Now, what do you think makes Auntie Patty Pat really happy? Do you think it's my funny socks? Or do you think it's my tiny, tiny Christmas tree? Or maybe someone will think it's all these presents. I wonder which one has my name on it. It says, ho, 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 maybe this one is mine. But do you know, boys and girls, the real joy of the holiday has nothing to do with my fancy sock or the tiny Christmas tree or the presents under my tiny Christmas tree. My real joy comes from the fact that my kids have come to be with me. Remember I told you I moved to another country and I was here all by myself, but my children are here. And that gives me joy because I love them and they love me. And that's how it is with Jesus. Jesus gives us lots of nice things. He gives us health. He gives us nature. He gives us parents. He gives us food. He gives us friends. But the real thing that gives you joy is Jesus himself. Just knowing Jesus and the fact that he loves you and you really love him is the center of our joy. Boys and girls, it doesn't matter what you have and what you don't have. As long as you have Jesus, Jesus brings you real joy. Thank you, Auntie Patty Pat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Auntie Patty Pat. And now it's time for us to ask Pastor NASA. Hi, Pastor NASA. My name is Ori. I live in Florida. My question is, what is it like in heaven? Hey, thank you so much for that question. It's a really good one. Well, you know, in the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4, the Bible says, And God shall wipe away every tear from their eye, and there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. You see, boys and girls, when Jesus comes again, he's coming for all those who love him and have a relationship with him. He's coming to take them to go to heaven. And guess what? The Bible tells us that in heaven, people won't get sick anymore. People won't get injured anymore. You won't have any uh, boo-boos anymore, any types of bruises. I mean, you're going to be perfectly healthy and strong and live forever. Now, the Bible says there are many other things that's going to be in heaven, but we don't know because the Bible says, I has not seen nor the air have heard the kind of things that's going to be in heaven. So there are many, many more wonderful things that's going to be in heaven. So you know what, boys and girls? The best thing for us to do to experience what's going to be in heaven is to give our lives to Jesus. That's right. If we surrender our lives to Jesus and we invite him into our hearts, then we can be ready to go to heaven when he comes. I want to go to heaven with Jesus. How about you? Well, let's give our hearts to Jesus and we can be ready to go home with him forever. Until next time. <music> Pastor Nessa, Pastor Nessa, Pastor Nessa, thank you for always answering the questions from our prince and princesses. Thank you so much. And now we have Aunt Polly. She's over at Crafty Craft Corner, excitedly waiting to share with us our craft for lesson 12. Mm -hmm.
Holly, where do you get these ideas from? I love them. 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 Thank you so much for this crab, that little lamb. I like it. I do. <laughs> and now, Princess Decal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's waiting to share with us her tasty treats for today. Does your family make Christmas ornaments? Suppose you could make an ornament that you could eat. Well, that's what they've been doing in the British Virgin Isles for centuries. Today, we'll be making stained glass cookies, which represent the colorful windows in their churches. And my new friends, Theophilus, Adriel, Banaja, and their mom can't wait to see them. So let's get started. Our ingredients for today include flour, milk, butter, sugar, baking powder, salt, vanilla extract, an egg, an egg yolk, and hard candy. You'll also be needing a bowl, clean rack, a cooling rack, mittens, a spatula, a whisk, cookie cutters, a skewer, a rolling pin, a blender, string, and a lined baking sheet. Pulse your dry ingredients with butter in a blender until sandy. Lightly whisk your eggs, milk, and vanilla. Add your egg mix to your dry ingredients and mix until it forms a dough. Squeeze your dough into a ball, wrap and place in the fridge for 30 minutes. While your dough is setting, crush your hard candy into fine crystals. While your oven is preheating to 325 degrees, roll your dough, cut out your shapes and place them on your cookie sheet. Sprinkle your crystals into the center of each cookie and bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Use your skewer to cut holes into your cookies and allow to cool before adding string. I like to look at stars at night because they shine so brightly. I can only imagine the beauty of the star that led to baby Jesus. When I think about Jesus, I am filled with joy. Right now, I'm going to fill up with these cookies. Another tasty meal, another treat, oh, another terrific job from Princess Tekel. Thank you so much, my darling. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy, tummy. Thank you. And now, my friends and princesses, the program's coming to an end. But we all know, NTK will be right back here come next week's Sabbath, which is 13th Sabbath. Oh, my goodness. Wow. But I'm happy to always spend this time with you. But before I leave, I need to always remind you that God, although he's everywhere, he really wants us to invite him into our hearts. I love you. Yes, I do. Happy Sabbath. Now, you know, we began with prayer and we have to end with prayer. So close your eyes and clasp your hands. Until next week, I love you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, how be my name, thou kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
the Lord's Prayer. Happy Sabbath, everyone, and we'll see you all again next week.